Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at, at some shoes that I bought. Just kidding. This is all, well, some of the boxes. <laughs> I, just, I just hit him in the head. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Yeah, so these are some of the boxes where I keep all the... <laughs> all this stuff for my sets so the plan is to make or to throw a lot of this stuff away because I gotta make space for all the new stuff that I'm gonna make for the Huxley Brothers sets uh, I wish I could keep everything but uh, I'm gonna make some space and I mean I I've some of this stuff I had for years since some of it is from season two and season three I might have some from season some stuff from season one even but yeah all this needs to be reduced to at least well I have five boxes here so at least four boxes so let's get to it Okay, so here it is. Two piles. This is all the stuff I'm keeping, and this is the stuff I'm throwing away. Just some background stuff from sets. This is the uh, the trap device from the necktie trap from Saw 5. So I'm kind of sad to let it go, but I've never used it for another video, I think, so. It's just taking space. Here I have the glass box, crucifix, the casket, the pendulum. So here's how I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna divide all the stuff that I think I'm gonna use for the Huxley Brothers sets and all the stuff for season seven in another box or separate okay I'm a little bit more organized now one box is done this pile is all the stuff for the Nathan Ragazzi story we have the clowns from Ferris wheel all that stuff I might use for the Huxley brothers uh, I tried to divide uh, make piles of similar stuff like for example all those these all the like gates fans and all that stuff and all the plastics are in this box also have all the chairs from the funeral trap and some pots okay you guys I'm gonna show you some stuff that I bought online a few days ago and the package came like last week I think but I didn't I haven't opened it I mean, I opened it, but I didn't open the, uh, the bag, so here it is. These are a few things that I'm going to use for the videos. I ordered some new blades, because these are the best blades to cut the cardboard. Uh, I ordered two of them with extra blades. And... <laughs> the little pans for a kitchen set that I'm gonna make. I ordered two of them because the set is gonna be big so it's, it's, not gonna, it's, not, it's not gonna be like a regular kitchen it's gonna be uh, like a like a building kitchen you know what I mean so there's lots of stoves and stuff like that and these two little guns which will be very useful I won't have to do any more cardboard ones. I just have to, I guess, paint them black so they don't look too western. <laughs> yeah, so these are the only things I ordered. There was a, a rifle that I wanted to order, but it was like 5 inches long, so that's way too big for the clay characters. So 
so I just ordered this for now. Plates and a few things for the sets. Which will save me a, save me some time uh, while making them. And I also made a list of all the other things I need to make out of cardboard. And I'm also gonna buy a new editing program to edit all the new videos. I, uh, the one I use right now, when I first started, I started using Pinnacle. Uh, so that which version was it? And now I'm using version 14. And now I'm thinking about buying version 20, which is this one, the ultimate one. Uh, I'm debating between three uh, editing programs, but since I've been using Pinnacle all the time, I think I'm just gonna go with this one instead. So currently I'm um, in the middle of writing episode 4 for the Huxley Brothers. Um, I'm kind of stuck in the scene right now because I need I need to write a scene that goes in between two other scenes because th those two other scenes can't go together. So I need to separate them with the scene in, scene in between. So, so sorry if that's confusing, but that's what's happening right now. Um, also, I was thinking for the I've been thinking for the past few days about maybe and hopefully releasing both the Huxley Brothers and season seven this year. So it would be cool if I could release the Huxley Brothers maybe in the spring and for a summer finale and then if I have everything ready and written down for season seven that could be released in uh, in fall or maybe in the winter time. So we'll see. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it happens that way. Yeah, so expect something new very soon, like a trailer or something, maybe a new poster. I want to make a trailer with this uh, synopsis of the story so everybody can get a, an idea of, of the concept of the story.